You're watching the elimination round. Connor O'Leary taking on Seth Moniz. O'Leary, number 11 in the world with his hopes in being in the top 10 before the season is over. And Seth Moniz looking to put his head down. Well, at the start of the matchup, Flick, we had a bit of a paddle battle just to try to get position for the opening wave. Late decision for Seth to turn and go. Got a little snap in and next thing you know that look at the replay of connor's uh opening wave here and he did really well to uh pick the high line here you can just say he stays really high on this wave little pump and you can see that he needs to stay high to exit so just a small score he wasn't really that deep in this one you can see how far forward he is on his board that feet placement there wasn't that long a travel time and I think, you know, this wave really suits Seth. He comes from Hawaii, comes from a big, here we go, we got some. Looks like know. Seth will position, got a little more deep just to make sure he pulled into a section. <laughs> so that's just on and his ability to read a wave. At a very young age, could read the wave like a C tier when he was about 10 years old. And we see Ooh. Connor O'Leary getting tangled up. You get to surf live conditions like the best in the world here in Tahiti. Seth Muniz pulling into this first section and punching free. Solid stance there to get the exit. The point nine three is gone and he's improving his lead out front. Little barrels to read here. We'll have a look at the replay. This is what we mean. He got completely engulfed by that foam. Nice technique there. You can see he's using his whole, the whole side of his body. There's a bit of an anchor in the side of the wave to slow himself down, really maximize that tube time. Connor now needs a 3.4. And now locking into this wave. One big drive into the pit, slowing down to max out the tube time. Well read wave for O'Leary. And up and out. Great wave. Smaller wave, but he just read it so well. And uh, that wave stayed really nice and open. Oh, here we go. We'll have a look at the replay. Pump to get started. Another little pump there, trying to slow down at the end. But uh, yeah, it was a small inside wave. We'll have a look here from this angle. Staying nice and compressed. And yeah, just pulling out there at the end. Another angle from the top. I mean, for a big guy, he's <laughs> so flexible. But every move he makes is definitely done with power. With a lot of confidence, confidence in his decision making too. Great read there, 4.83, and the lead over Seth Bodies. Yeah, that was that was really well done. When you get a wipeout, how Connor did before, it was just really awkward. He came up, kind of he, touching his face a bit, look, had changed boards, can kind of really rattle you. Now pulling in, this is Seth Bodies. A lot of white water on his head. He'll go down. Seth's one of those guys that will catch fish and then cook for the whole family as well. He's pretty good at that. As we look at Connor pulling in some travel time and the Australian gets clipped on the exit. Well, it's so cool to see the next generation, especially over an intimidating wave like this as we get right back into action with Connor O'Leary. Trying to pump that board quickly to beat this section. It's stretched out on him and he's got to try to stay low, not go too deep because there's not a whole lot of room for the big man. He's already bounced off the reef once in this heat already. Both these guys have a lot of t talented surfing in their family. Connor's parents, dad Australian, mom from Japan who competed for a long time on tour as we roll in with Seth Moniz. Big lunge into the pocket, has a lot of speed to come flying out. Now he's trying to burn that speed on the end section. So getting shot out quickly, chasing a 4.34. Not a massive score. We'll see if the judges thought he was deep enough. Have a look at the replay. Takes off, gets a couple of pumps down the line. And you can see it there. Just has a bit of a funny warble through it. You saw one there. Was in it for a bit, but you could see how much he was trying to slow down, really trying to maximize that tube time. Here he goes, using his whole body against the side of the wave. See his arm in the face of the wave. He tries again here. There's that wobble through that little section. I was just remembering a moment for his, his older sister, Kalia, two-time longboard champ, came here on a surf trip. Remember that one, Flick? Oh, I do. 
I remember it all over social media, but live action. Big K for Seth Moniz, exactly what the Hawaiian was waiting for. Exactly what the judges in the tower were hoping for, too. That'll be a lot easier to separate the scale now. Easily getting the lead, picking off one of the biggest waves we've seen in a while. Look at the replay, grabs the rail. Roti section there, and he comes flying out. Yeah, quite easily the biggest wave that we've seen for a while. Here we go, another angle, dragging the side of his body into the wave. Intel just had so much power behind it. It was really well done. So nice, that takeoff, and that barrel just staying so open for Seth. Beautifully surfed. Tell, that's one of those ones that really, really feels good. Just stayed so open. You can see how thick that lip is there. And comes flying out with that spit behind him. And then Connor just got this wave flick. Yeah, nice little tube. Straight out. Oof. Okay. This is gonna get this is getting exciting. Connor, it's really deep on that one. Comes flying out. A little bit of a chandelier on his head. 5.45 to go, Seth back in position. And looks like he wants more. Look at that fade just to position this section right into the stall. Perfect as he comes out. Such a great read of the tube. You'd imagine if every stop on tour was really hollow, you know, Seth would probably be in the final five right now. Oh, this is what he did after the eight flick. Ah, oh, perfect positioning. He knew he was a bit wide, so he said, hang on a sec, I'm gonna fade here. You can see it. This is the eight. Beautifully well surfed there, just comes flying out. And here we go, another look. Just that technique is so nice to watch has the, his whole body pushed into the side of that face of the wave, really trying to slow himself down, really like... But she was willing to tell the whole story. She actually brought it up recently on one of her posts. Kaylee Moni is always a great follow, sharing a lot of insight from her whole family. As we pull in on the inside section with Seth Moniz, another great exit of the tube. Looking to replace his 4.23. Look at the replay from uh, Seth's wave. Pulls in here. You can just tell he's connected. I mean, he could have easily have got that sort of foamy, clampy end section. But out the back, Connor taking off, slotted, but does not come out of that one. Yeah, especially uh, with a lot of backhand tube practice. Oh. As we close this one out. Got some jostling going on out there. That's the next heat, getting ready, <laughs> Kyle and Liam O'Brien. This one goes to Seth Moniz. Seth will be surfing later on today.